So, let's start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. How about we first outline the events of March 8th from your point of view? Or five of us were walking around the woods, you know, just to hang out. That's you know, you want to let the hand out. I felt you more than anyone else just today. Oh no, you fucking have it. You're funny so to yourself, don't you? You're you serious, Sarah? You need to get fucking grip. Hurry, for God's sake. Hurry then, man off. Oh. Alright, go then. What the hell have you just done that for? What do you think I did that for? Come on, she was being a fucking you bitch. You slapped She her. was being insensitive and you know it. She wanted to take all the fucking money for herself. How could you not fucking see Are that? Are you being serious? Yeah, I'm you fucking being serious. Oh. I know you talk about hitting her to me. I know you talk about it. I never thought you actually do it. Yeah, well, I fucking did, didn't I? Alice went after her. But I cannot believe you just slapped her. Where are you fucking going now? Hurry! Hurry! A couple of hours later, we found Alice who Claim to have no idea who Harry was. What are you doing over here? Huh? Where the fuck's Harry? Harry? Yeah, Harry. We don't know Harry. Yeah, we do. Harry, you just went to find her. Seriously, don't know Harry. Yes, we fucking do. She's been our best friend since we were like six years old. I have no idea what you're on about. Stop fucking about and tell me where the fuck Harry is. I don't know a Harry. We don't know a Harry. This ain't fucking funny. She's probably out there somewhere on her own. Have you seriously not gone to find her? We, we don't know anyone. Yes, we fucking do. We're best friends since we're in fucking primary school, Alice. Because she's out there somewhere and I'm fucking worried sick Chase, about her. Chase, we don't do fucking run up and none of you fucking care. When I turned to Eleanor and Grace, they were also being all sceptical about Harry and called me crazy. Harry? Yeah, fucking Harry. Our no best friends since we were like six. We don't you all know fucking know who Alice is. What? Fucking playing a prank on me. <laughs> on me so I went along with it in what felt like one of our classic disputes. There is no Harry, I swear. Harry, come back right now! No. Then I started to feel oddly fretted by how serious they were acting. So Jess? I began to look for the tree that Harry was hiding behind or something to put an end to it all. Harry! Jeff! So what you believe to have happened was that they were playing some sort of practical joke on you, correct? Yes. And when was it that they indicated that they were in fact only joking? Harry, yes, we don't know what the Harry. fuck you all about? You're and why not? Because Harry never showed up, and now a lot of them are yes, saying don't they don't know who she is, or I don't like they're not worried about her being missing. There is no Harry. our best fucking friend since we were Harry six, is. Harry. Despite us all being best friends since we were like six. So, did this friendship between you all start in primary school? Jessica, there is no record of a Harry and Michaels who attended Hayfield Primary School. Uh, that's where you went, was it not? Yes, it was. All right. I know what this is. And if the rest of this interview will just be the breakdown on Harry's existence in my life, or apparent lack thereof, then it can just stop. I've just had enough of all this. Well, then I was talking to Alice about this. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I think he was about that. You are. Like, it is crazy. Yeah, she just doesn't even pick a side. I, just, like, I know Harry. It's a simple fact. We're best friends, you have the occasional scrap. Get fucking grip! But make up literally straight after she comes back. You don't have to prove that you knew Harriet Michaels anymore. That was settled when you reported someone who really turned out to be missing. The only mystery is how you knew someone who lived 135 miles away from you was missing. Harry. Stop playing a fucking joke on me! Yeah, I expect a fucking bet from you, Alice! This ain't funny anymore! Harry's out there somewhere in the fucking woods on her own! None of us are fucking looking for her! Let's start from the beginning again. So, why is it that you were walking around the woods? Why not the shopping centre or the park? We'd heard the news report on those discovered Anglo-Saxon zoomorphic animal brooches in Oakley Woods. We wanted to find more of them so that we could sell them, you know, the shopping centers and stuff. Any luck? No. And 
how about this fight between you and Harriet? Uh, surely that wasn't about the brooches. Why are you always the one starting fight? Harry and I have always fought. Perhaps sometimes too furiously, but one thing we can both agree on is it makes us feel better. Closer even. Tell me like shit! Oh yeah! This time I was accusing Harry of wanting to take all the money for herself that we were to make from selling the brooches. Hey. If you want to just take all the money for yourself and fucking go, then fucking do it! I don't give a shit anymore! Did she have a reputation for this? No, but she kept joking about wanting to run away. It was quite annoying actually, so I threw that in her face. Well, why do you think it is that she wanted to run away? You know, even if she was joking, what if she was trying to cover something up or didn't know how to seriously tell you because you guys were fighting all the time? You think she was running away from me? You- You shouldn't even know Harriet. She lived in Northumberland. Stop talking about her in the past tense. And her name is Harry. Recent reports and evidence show that she was last seen in the woods near the town of Annie. What evidence? What evidence A is photo of Harry in Northumberland Near to where she lived. She was wearing a rabbit charm that was found in Annick Woods. 